Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com here with Brock and Cantrell um, from Ergo. Yep. Yes. That's how you pronounce it, right? Because yeah. somebody was pronouncing it wrong earlier. I forgot the pronunciation. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Some people pronounce it ergo. Ergo, ergo. yeah, yeah. And I guess that's technically uh, correct, but ergo, meaning ergonomics. Okay. For the mind, body, and soul. Exactly. So we're going to talk about ergo. We're going to talk about Cantrell's uh, cool new venture. Yes. How long has it been? It's been, um, I would say, four months, five months. So it is new, yes. It's su super new. Okay, Brand cool. New. So we're going to talk about the Hair House, which is a super cool education venture for Cantrell. We got Ergo products. So we're going to start off. How do you two know each other? Uh, we met this morning. Yes. In our in our taxi SUV thing. So they're coming in. I'm like, oh, you know what? I needed to talk to you guys today anyways. So how do you guys know each other, and how did this happen? Oh, wow. Um. Actually, uh, it started from Ergo. Ergo is what brought us together. Okay. Uh, I was brought onto the team. Um, I've got a story. We'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, I met this handsome young gentleman, and uh, you handsome devil. He is I'll take Stevie it. Wonder, Rick James looking <laughs> handsome guy. And uh, we've built uh, a friendship. And uh, proud to say, this man is my best friend. Right on. So, Cantrell, how did you get hooked up with Ergo? Uh, Ergo actually came out to my school, my cosmetology school, and I just fell in love with the whole pitch of Ergo, the story behind it, the energy, the fact that it's a small company, and yeah. the owner of the company is actually doing a lot of the work and foot traffic, so I really yeah. fell in love with that. Yeah, and you are... Um you're pretty new to the industry, right? I mean, yeah, I'm 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 gently under five years. Nice, I like that. <laughs> so, uh, which is fantastic because you've had a lot of success already, I believe. If I've I'll heard correctly that. through drinks last night, I heard that you have, uh, uh -oh. you've you've done a lot in your career so far, only being gently under five years. So tell me, tell me what your big things have been this year, and just you know what you have going on right now. Well, I think uh, one of the most recent exciting. Um, gifts that I've been given uh, w has been the nomination for behind the scenes awards of the year from Hairbrain. So okay. I got into their video awards, and I'll find out this March if I win. It's awesome. That Are you going to be there? Exciting. Are you um, going to New York? I think it's going to be a surprise for everyone, including myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully but I'm you'll pitching be there. for sponsors. Pitching <laughs> for sponsors. Find me out. So, um, so you, so you got that nomination. Yes. Did, did I hear that you also are going to put work somewhere else, or you're trying for something else? Is that true, or um, like Naha? Naha is going to be another surprise for everyone, including myself. <laughs> but you know what? What I love is that you've been in the industry less than five years, right? Yeah. Yes. And that's a that's a thought in your mind. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. I've already I've entered Naha twice already. See? So. So that's awesome. Yes. And that's a huge accomplishment. And it's something that most people wouldn't even attempt because it's an intense process, right? It is. It is. OK. Now, Brock. Yes, sir. What is so? Ergo is not your last name. Obviously. No, it's, def it's definitely not. But it's uh, definitely changed my life, my world, who I am uh, as a person. Uh, I never had dreams of being a hairdresser. Music was my passion. That's what I did day in and day out. Okay. And I had to work side jobs to make ends meet. And so I ended up working at Nordstrom's uh, some years back. And one day this gentleman comes in during the holidays with his beautiful wife. Uh, I introduce myself as Brock, and the gentleman introduces himself as Robert and his wife Marlene. So uh, we continue to talk, and I continue to help him out. Uh, about 15 minutes of helping him out, the gentleman or the wife uh, grabs my arm and goes, "Oh my gosh, I love your tattoos. You'd make a great arm model for us." I'm like, "Arm model? What are you talking about?" <laughs> right. That was probably the last thing you thought. I, I had yeah. never thought of that arm. I didn't even know that was an actual job. But right. she goes, "We own a professional styling tool company." And uh, for some of our campaigns, we like to have people with tattoos holding our tools. I was like, oh, awesome. So uh, I continue to help them out. And by the end of uh, setting them up and everything like that, the gentleman hands me his business card and goes, give me a call after the holidays. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our industry. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So the holidays came and went. And uh, I had about 15, 20 different business cards from all different walks of life. I broke it down to about a few of them. One of them happened to be Robert Reed of Ergo. I still have that business card on my mantle to this day. Nice. So I pick up the phone, I give him a call, and I go, hey, Robert, this is Brock. 
He completely remembered me. This man remembers everyone's yeah. name. It's insane. He's like freaking Yoda. <laughs> and uh, so we start talking. And he tells me his background in the industry and everything like that. And he goes, in two weeks, there's the Long Beach Ice Show. And I was like, what's that? It's a hair show. I'd never heard of a hair show at that time. He goes, come down, check it out. I was like, all right, fantastic. I was in uh, my early 20s. And uh, I remember this vividly. I was driving down there. And I was super nervous inside. I had no idea if he was going to kidnap me, if it was a hair show. I didn't know what I was getting in zone for. And uh, so I finally get here, park downstairs, like we all know where to go. And I go get my pass, and I go down those escalators. And I remember taking one step inside of here, and it was just madness. Hair going everywhere, beautiful women, people all tied up. I'd never seen a world like this in my yeah. entire life. I probably was standing there with my mouth down on the floor, drool coming out of it because I was in such shock. And that split second, I knew I wanted to be in this industry. A week later, I signed up for beauty school. And the rest has been history. And uh, it's I'm going on probably a year and a half now, ever since I've uh, finished beauty school. Oh, really? And yeah, I'm, oh, so I'm you're still, I'm yeah. still super you new to this. Um, this Long Beach show was the very first. I'm an educator them for them now. Yeah. But uh, this was the first time that I got to teach a, an actual class at this show. So it's a super humbling experience for me personally, being at this show this year. Yeah. So so, so this is the show that uh, a little over two years probably. Two yeah, years it was ago, like three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. You came to. You were yes. not even a hairdresser. Yeah. No. And now you're teaching. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. It is. And that's what that's what I love about Robert Reed is that. He just like, it, he was like, he was one of the people from the very beginning that um, I got connected to without reaching out to him. Yes. Um, which isn't how a lot of companies go. I mean, when you start something new, it was like, you know, we had a, we had a couple thousand followers and I was like, you know what, I'm going to start reaching out to these companies, hoping to get free stuff and nobody will give you anything, you know, <laughs> but Robert Reed reached out to me and he just saw something different. And right away, he was like, I'm going to send you these brushes. And you know what? We're going to have an hour-long phone conversation yes. every week and just talk about the industry. And that's what happened. And we did it for probably five weeks straight, him just calling me and, and talking. So, you know, it goes to show this brush, we use it in our salon. It's something completely unique it from is. any other brush that you're going to use. So tell me, tell me about the tool and what, what makes it different. Uh, maybe we can even take one out. Yeah, there. absolutely. Let's let's do that real yeah. quick. Do you mind if I grab this one right here? Yeah, no, whatever one. Okay, we, cool. we, we've talked about these on the podcast, so if you guys haven't been able to check them out, the Ergo brushes um, are phenomenal. And they're going to tell you why, because there's so many little details that go into this brush. So... Um, yeah, fantastic. It, it, it's definitely correct. What is special about this brush that is so different than any brush out there on the market? Um, one of the first things that I do like to share is the length. It's actually 20% longer than most brushes out there. And what that allows us to do as artists is take larger sections, do faster blow dries, less wrist rotations, less fatigue. I mean, let's be serious. Blow drying in this industry, blow drying in our industry is one of the most fatiguing aspects of it. That's the reason for carpal tunnel, lower back problems, all of those issues that, uh, you know, uh, correlate to what we do. So anything that can help us is definite plus. Um, another cool thing that I do like to share with people is that it's a silicone grip handle, and I know yeah. when you grab it yourself, right. um, it doesn't matter if you have product or anything on your hands, you're gonna get that same grip and tension as you would uh, if your hands were completely dry. Um, we recess the top and the bottom because a lot of times hair tends to snag in areas like this and like this, so we wanted to eliminate a cap so hair doesn't uh, get up inside of it. And I know it's happened to all of us with different right. brushes that yeah. we've used. Um, and one of the last things that I'd like to share uh, is the magic that is inside these bristles. Um, it's tourmaline, it's a mineral, and uh, it emits a negative ionic charge. Your hair puts off a positive charge. Uh, think of your cuticle being open, frizz, static, uh, electricity. Uh, mixed with heat and tension, it closes that cuticle uh, tighter, expels the water faster. The more that the sun can come down on it, the shinier and beautiful the hair will be. All right. So there's so many fantastic things. I think um, the the actual what the bristle is made of, it, it, you kind of touched on it, but like it, that's what really makes it special. It, it, I mean, exactly. it, it is it's the negative ion charge, right? Yes, absolutely. So, and hair is positively charged. So yes. But but what is the, the what is that mineral? 
It's tourmaline. Tourmaline, Tourmaline right. is a mineral that they mine in some Asian cultures, and it's actually a, a nylon bristle that is infused with the tourmaline. It's not coated. A lot of times with bristles, they tend to be coated, so after right. a few blow dries, they start to wear off. And tourmaline is passed around a lot in our industry. We've heard it a lot, and not a lot of people uh, truly understand what it is. Right. And in our classes, in the Art of the Blow Dry classes that Cantrell and I share all across this country, we do everything from breaking down this brush and actually getting to techniques and things like that. But that's the magic that lives inside these bristles. Yeah, and you, you'll you find, like, when you have this brush in the salon, you'll feel the bristles, they're very hard. They are. But then as soon as you hit them with heat, Absolutely. They're, they're nice and soft. Ooh. And you going to say something? Yeah, one of the things that makes them really hard, when we first had our first edition of the Ergo brushes, a lot of people, we got a lot of feedback about the brushes saying that the bristles were actually burning and curling up. So sure. what we did was with this new version a few years ago, we put carbon in the bristles. So that carbon allows the bristles to stay strong and sturdy, but it also gives them that hard feel when they're cold. Right. But as soon as you heat it in three, four, five seconds, it, it softens up immediately. Yep. So and you. So let's talk right before we get into the hair house stuff. What um, with Ergo, where do you get classes? Where can they see you? And all Absolutely. That. So we stay. Um, very active on social media, uh, everything from uh, Ergo Styling, Ask Ergo Styling Tools, um, at Ergo Styling Tools on Instagram, um, Facebook.com slash Ergo Research Inc. And then you can also go on AskErgo.com and get classes, check information, look up anything that's going on, anything that's pertaining to Ergo itself. Okay. And so here's a question for both of you. We'll start with Cantrell. What is uh, what would you say right now is like your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration is watching other independent education, watching yeah. salons, watching groups of hairstylists put together their own independent education. I think that's really really exciting right now, and and just and it's very organic. Yeah. So that that's been inspiring. Okay, cool. What about you? And uh, I'd have to agree with him, but also the people that surround us right now, the energy that is filling this room, it's that passion and dedication that lives with inside all of these hairdressers that pulled me into this industry. Right. So that's where I get my biggest inspiration right from. Right on, right on. So you said you played music. Absolutely. So do you still play music? I, I, I do, not as much as uh, I'd like to. It definitely right. does for me personally. I kind of had to pick one or the other. Yeah. And uh, I had more success in six months of hairdressing than I did in 10 years. <laughs> of doing music so <laughs> well i grew up so I, I grew up playing music and uh when i first started in beauty school the reason i chose beauty school was because yeah. not because i loved hair i didn't really know much i i liked coloring my own and messing it up but um <laughs> but i felt like i could be myself i could dress the way that i yeah. wanted to and i could still play music well you realize very quickly when you get immersed in this industry that you know you don't play music as much no, anymore absolutely yeah. but you're still able to be yourself and yeah. that's kind of the best yeah part. And you get to express yourself in a different way so what what do you like to do outside of doing hair um outside of doing hair i see you know you're an addict when you have <laughs> to know. think about that i don't <laughs> even know either what do i do other than hair um I like to dance. Um, okay. yeah, I, my Can you family's... dance for us? <laughs> He'll, see, be no, He'll be no, bugs. He'll be bugs. You dance. No, if no. the other thing that you like doing is dancing, <laughs> I will beatbox he will again. Beatbox. No. If you, you dance. dance, no, maybe tonight at the, at the after parties. <laughs> All right, we'll yeah. get film of that and yes. we'll uh, we'll add it in yeah. later. My family's from Puerto Rico, so. <laughs> Oh, that's um, awesome. There's always been a lot of dancing in the house, so I think that definitely stuck with me. It's in my roots, so that I like to do. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, so let's talk about the hair house real quick. Yeah. Because yeah. this, yeah. this is exciting. This is right? my baby. Yes. So tell me tell me the story. I, I've heard a little bit, um, but what is it? How did it start? The hair house. The hair house. The yeah. hair okay. house. So the hair house started when Wesley Palmer, Wes does hair on Instagram. Um, he lives in Texas. He came out to amazing, amazing hairstylist, came out to California to just start a new career, to give it a new go. And Chad Clark actually linked this up. He said, hey, Wes, I have this guy named Cantrell. I think you all should link up and move in together. So we were down. I was looking to move at that time. So we, two stranger hairstylists just 
two moved strangers together, in two one strangers, house. Right. Uh, moved into each uh, uh, moved into a house in West Hollywood, and we're both hairstylists. So we said, hey, let's let's make this into a salon. So we turned our living room, we gutted our living room out, and we put two stations in the salon and in the house in the living room, and we just started taking clients. <laughs> and it was just it, it was, was just awesome. fun. It was at, at the beginning, it was just like a salon. We okay. literally took our clients and and just had Wait, our own so thing. So you have a salon in your house. But it's literally your living room, uh, that's, right? That's so you do hair, yes. and then you go to bed. <laughs> it basically, awesome. and then we wake up. It's, okay. it's awesome because when you, uh, it's not a consistent thing, you know, right. as far as the clients. But when you have that call, I do. A, I get a lot of people ready for different events and stuff. So sometimes the call time is crazy early. Yeah. And at this time, I lived in West Hollywood, so there's a lot of studios out there and a lot of uh, red carpets and stuff. So. Um, sometimes when the call time is early, I'm like, yeah, come to my house at seven o'clock in the morning. Nice. And I could, I literally just wake up, put on some <laughs> nice clothes, do the client, and then go, go back, back to sleep. <laughs> he likes so sleep. It sounds like an ideal situation. We have to get you Millennium software so you can run that in your, uh, that can be hooked up to your television. There we go. So, so, um, so let's talk about, uh, so the hair house, you started that's salon in your house. But yes. then what else did it evolve to? And then, and then, at, uh, about halfway through a few months down the line, Wes Palmer decided to move back down to Texas. So at this time, I had an uh, 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 empty room in the house. And so that's You're when I brought staring at his station? <laughs> sadly, sadly, staring right. at his station. Um, so that's when I brought in my best friend, one of my best friends, Sugar Skulls. Okay. And so he was, he was looking to move as well. So I said, hey, you know, I have this spot. The hair house is about to open up a station. <laughs> so you might as well come and move with us. You were hiring. I was hiring, basically. <laughs> um, so he came and moved in. And okay. from there, we continued to do we continued to do the hair house as a salon. But at that time, I was kind of moving, moving more so out of the salon industry and getting more strongly into the education as well as the editorial. Okay. So that's when I my station started to become really bare and I started to do more work on set and more work off of, you know, outside of a salon. But Carlos Sugar Skulls just took it over as far as the salon and just doing clients and clients and I would literally come home from being on set all day and he'd be have the house packed with clients and people waiting on the couches and music <laughs> going and people <laughs> drinks happening. So and then after so that, I'm yeah. gonna, I know somebody's gonna ask this, but it, it legally. <laughs> no, right? Next question. Right. <laughs> no comment. We don't know the address of where he lives. Yes, we don't know this anything. Is, this is all a good story. Yes, We're yes. just putting on a good story. This is not. I am not here right now. Okay. So, uh, so, so then, uh, are you're doing education? Yes. It. Um, uh, eventually, it started. We. It. It turned into basically almost like. We started to say, hey, let's just have classes here. And we started to have classes and it ended up evolving into Hair House, basically Hair House education. That whole, that whole scene started where we started to create an environment where hairdressers can feel comfortable. One, you're, you're, you're at my house, it's chill, you know? So it's the whole, you yeah. know, dress, it's chill. You're at my house, you're sitting on my couch. It's, it's chill, it's right. no big deal. Yeah. So, and then, you know, it's, oh, I love the fact that it's open bar, everyone, Gets to have a drink. I have a drink. I'm drinking a little bit of wine. <laughs> you know, everyone's drinking. And it's just slightly, gently drinking. Right. I'm dancing <laughs> some music in the background. <laughs> and we're just doing what we love. Uh, another amazing element of the Hair House is that there's always amazing food. I feel that that's a strong thing on for centuries, bringing people together food. Thanksgiving. What is Thanksgiving? When you gather food. around with people and you eat food. So... I brought that element to Wait, it. So you don't have a class, and then you guys take a, a half an hour break with pizza, and then no. uh, and then you go back to learning after that. No, there's this amazing chef that I've been working with for a long time now. Her name is Liv, and she's a big part of the hair house. She comes and she she cooks a lot of the food at at her station at her uh, at her studio, and then she brings over and if she needs to finish off things. So we hire a real chef that's professional and that she's just amazing range in food and she comes in and she explains it after she'll bring after when it's dinner time or lunch time because usually we have evening classes we have her explain the food and it's just a cool environment they get to see what they're eating everything's organic and like good and delicious and <laughs> been marinating for three days and it's just an awesome experience this is crazy like this is what the industry has started to become like how cool is it what you're doing and the fact that everyone in this room is over screaming for a free blow dryer when they could be at the hair house. 
They're yeah. this close to it. It's in L.A., right? Yes. Yeah. So yes. you have uh, anybody that is close to you. I think it's super cool what you're doing. And I would rather talk to somebody like you than half the other people in this room because you're doing something different. You're doing it well. Both of you guys are yeah. awesome. Um, I think uh, I think the biggest thing right now is we can get people to follow. Anybody that follows us can follow you guys. Follow the Hair House. Follow Ergo. Um, how do they follow Ergo? Uh, you can go on at Ergo Styling Tools uh, on Instagram and then Facebook slash yes. Ergo Research Inc. Right on. And then how do we follow the Hair House? Um, you follow us at uh, at Hair House Education. That yeah. is our our Instagram. We're, <laughs> we're going to Instagram the right now. are awesome. You know what? They should Thank say you. something about the great food and they should say something about the... It's kind of like party house scene. You know, it's like it's, it's, it's a party flyer. It's you know, awesome. you see it and like, what is that? You look into it. I like the logo. I think it's cool. Thank you. I think you guys are doing awesome. I'm Thank super you. happy for That's all fun. for both of you. I, you. I didn't get to meet you until today. So I'm really happy. Uh, it's, it's cool to meet people that are this young in the is industry doing something so different. So oh. Thank you. I really appreciate you guys. Follow Brock, follow Cantrell, and uh, thank you so much to Millennium Systems International for letting us use their booth at ISSC Long Beach. We'll see you guys at the next hair show and on the next video. Thanks. Thank Peace. you. Peace.